in 20 years since somebody has gotten on the air and been mean and nasty when it's when they should be mean and nasty as entertainment tonight turns the tables on thursday march 1st 1984 hello everybody and welcome mary hart has a couple days off i'm dixie watley and i'm ron hendren for years television talk shows have been built around chats with movie stars writers on the book circuit jokes from comedians then perhaps a song Wally George, a man who sees himself as a more forceful host, has set out to change all that. Gene Wolfe reports. And now, here he is. That hard-hitting and award-winning, conservative voice of television, Wally George! It's been 20 years since somebody has gotten on the air and been mean and nasty when, it's, when they should be mean and nasty, who will really say what he thinks. All right, Wally, our first uh, guest in the hot seat tonight is a gentleman who's organizing... Well, the question, gentlemen. I would just call right. him guest. Uh, but national conservative leaders disavow any association with George. What he reminds me of is a Norman Lear sitcom designed to discredit or destroy the conservative movement. John Lofton is a columnist for the Washington Times and an editor of Conservative Digest magazine. I just behave the way I want to behave, the way I really feel. Now, there are, people say, you get on the air and you scream at people, you toss them off the air, you call them jerks, you call them idiots, you call them fatheads. Well, I do that in everyday life. What about respect for the guests? What about respect for the other fellow's opinion? I give my guests all the respect they deserve. When my wife and I have guests in our house, we do treat them with dignity and respect. If you deserve dignity, you'll get them. Now, earn your dignity before... You already... I have read... I have read your biography, and believe me, friend, you deserve no respect or dignity on this show or any show. But Mr. George is sort of a loudmouth, boorish uh, Don Rickles without any of uh, Mr. Rickles' uh, redeeming social graces. I put them on the air so they can expose themselves for what they really are. A bunch of jerks. That's why I put them on. I want them to reveal themselves for what they really are. I strip these people naked before the entire nation. Now that your show is about to go national, will there be change? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I spoke to someone at Actual Media, and they said, let me give you one piece of advice. People are going to come to you and say, you got to change this, you, you can't do this, you can't do that, Wally. He said, don't listen to them. Be exactly as you are, and I intend to be. I think the show is going to evolve. I think that uh, it's one thing to do uh, a local show a local station, and I think uh, when uh, the show is seen uh, nationally, I think there's uh, obviously got to be uh, uh, more pressure and more attention uh, paid to how the show is produced, and I think it will be. Let's build a giant wall made of barbed wire and keep them all out of here. <laughs> all theater, all sound and fury uh, signifying nothing strikes me as a... Uh, an uninformed, uh, loudmouth uh, demagogue who, who unfortunately uh, seems to be the kind of person who is bound to make it on television. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>